In this video, I played Terraria, but I installed a mod that completely reworks most, if not all, of bows, giving them new animations and projectiles. How will these changes affect my progression through the game, and will they help my battle against the final boss Moonlord? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, let's get started. Let's chop down some trees for wood, and then I can make my first weapon right away. This should be enough wood for now. Let's make a workbench. And then I can easily make the wooden bow. There we go. Got my first weapon just like that. And then I can break some pots to try to find some arrows. And I'm also going to look underground for some chests because those also have a chance to have arrows inside. Okay, what's inside this one? We got gravitation potions, okay. And the extractinator. There we go. Got some wooden arrows. Now I can test out what this wooden bow does. So it says press and hold the right button to charge the attack. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a meter. And then let's release it onto this piranha. Three, two, one. Wait, wow, that is 30 damage. Okay, but if we just shoot normally. Okay. So the longer I hold down the attack button, the more damage it does. But of course, it trades off the attack speed. Oh wow, that is a lot of topaz, I think. It should be enough for the hook. Yeah, we got 19. Oh, we got a ruby, so that means I can fight the king slime later on. Okay, I'm dead. And it's already nighttime? Wow. Time went by so fast. Okay, I guess I should build a little house for now. Because nighttime is pretty dangerous, and I don't have anywhere close enough the amount of arrows to really kill monsters. Okay, let's make a furnace, and then an anvil. So that I can make my topaz hook. Okay. Now I do have a bunch of tungsten bars, so I'm going to upgrade my wooden bow to the tungsten bow. And this one has 17 ranged damage. Oh, I've got purple on it, so it's now at 19. Okay, and let's charge this bad boy up. Let's see how much damage it does. Okay, I missed. <laughs> okay, here we go. 3, 2, 1. 55 damage. 60. Oh my god. And on a Demonite, it's like 78. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be dying quite a number of times during this night. Oh my god. Let's just try to cut down as many trees as possible. Because I do plan on making some NPC houses right away to get the merchant to spawn in. And then I can purchase as many wooden arrows as I want. But for now, I'm just going to wait until nighttime is over. Because there's just way too many demon eyes floating around. Okay, morning is finally here. Now, if you can just leave my little house, that would be great. There we go. Okay. Back to work. Okay, that's one, two, and... Oh, I need one more gel. Okay, hopefully the merchant does spawn within these two houses. Okay, let's keep exploring the surface of the world to see what else I can find. So the desert is right here. So I think I'm going to go mine some desert fossils. Because I do have the extractinator now, which means I can make some fossil armor. And the fossil armor does give ranged damage and critical strike chance. Okay, here's a bunch here. 162 from that, wow. Okay, well, I'm trapped. But I got 415 fossils, so let's go home. And pray that it is enough. Okay, and after all that, I have 45 sturdy fossils. And I think I am short of some, because the helmet takes 15. The plate armor takes 25, and then the greaves take 20, so I need 15 more. But I'll make what I can for now. So let's make the helmets and then the plate armor. And let's go back to mine some more. Okay, I think that's good enough. 235. Okay, there we go. I have enough now. Let's make the fossil greaves. So the set bonus is 20% chance to save ammo, and we have a total of 13 defense. And with our remaining sturdy fossils, I'm just going to make the fossil pickaxe to speed up mining a bit faster. Okay, let's kill some more of these slimes so I can make some more houses. 
Now let's make a couple more. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Hopefully the merchant will spawn. Because I am running out of arrows pretty soon. Ooh, got myself a pair of climbing claws. Ooh, okay. Found the suspicious looking eye. Oh, okay. There we go. The merchant has arrived. But I'm going to stay down here in the jungle for a bit longer to see what else I can find. Okay, got some chests down here. Oh, I'll take that. Band of regeneration. And... Feral claws. I already have one, so this can just be used for gold. Okay, and this life crystal is going to bring me to 200 health. And I'm also going to mine as many of these demonite ores as possible because I can then later on craft the demon bow. And all I need is just eight demonite bars. Ooh, okay. Shoe spikes. Perfect. Cloud in a bottle. Now let's see if I can find a pair of Hermes boots before I leave. Oh, warding on this one. I will replace that. Thank you very much. Oh my god, there's Hermes boots. Give it to me, give it to me. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, I think I'm ready for the I of Cthulhu fight. So let's quickly build an arena. And then let's add a campfire. There we go. Let's just buy a few more. Just a few more wooden arrows. Just a few. There we go. Okay, without further ado, let's start it up. 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's charge this up. 100 damage crit. Oh my god. Okay, let's clear out some of these servants. Whoa, that was 174 crit. Yeah, I should be using the charge up attack more. Okay, second phase. Okay, that's a lot of servants. And I just ran out of fire arrows. Well, that's okay. Okay, one more. There we go. That's all the serpents gone. 500 more health. Okay, this is getting kind of hard to aim. Okay, no, I'm just gonna... Okay, yeah, there we go. All done. Let's open up our treasure bag. And now we have some more demonite ore. And with that, let's turn them into demonite bars. To make the demon bow. Now this has 25 range damage. Beautiful, and we got superior on it. Okay, let's see the normal attacks. Oh? Wait, occasionally it shoots out the, what was it? The unholy arrows. And it doesn't use up, yeah. I have 47. I shoot one, it's still, it's still there. Now for the charged attack. Ooh, it's glowing. Okay, three, two, one. Wait, I missed. Three, two, one. Wait, what was that? So when it hits something, it spawns this spinning projectile? I don't know what that is. Maybe I should try it on an actual monster. Okay, let's test it on this giant antlion charger. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that's what it does. So after it hits, it spawns another arrow. That homes in. Boy, that is so... <gasps> it inflicts some kind of debuff as well. Let's do it again. Yeah, it does. It turns them purple. And it does 5 damage per tick. Wait, this is so good. I guess if it doesn't have anything to home in on though, then it just disappears. Oh, we got the traveling merchant. What are you selling? Nothing that good, but this vanity set does look pretty cool, so I guess I'll buy that. Oh, now I look like an actual assassin ranger. Now my next goal is to fight the Eater of Worlds, but I do want to collect all of my life crystals for max health before I do that. So I'm going to head back into the jungle. Okay, and there's two life crystals. And that's going to bring me to 300 health. 
Ooh, there we go. Magic mirror. Now I don't need the recall potions anymore. Okay, after these two life crystals, I just need to find one more. Oh, and there's my last one. There we go. Okay, max health. Okay, I should be good to go to take on the Eater of Worlds now. So let's head over to the Corruption. I guess I'll build the arena right here. It's pretty spacious. Okay, the arena is all done. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Okay, let's go back up. Here we go. Oh! Wait! Oh my god! No way! I didn't know it was like that! Ew, that is nasty! Oh my god, that damage! It's just, it just pierces through all the parts. Oh my god! Okay, let's not choke this. I'm getting a bit too excited of the damage. Oh, that's not good. Heal up. Oh my god, all those arrows that spawn. This is not good because they're all separated, but it should be doable. Almost done here. Thousand more health. I just realized these projectiles can uh, go through walls or the ones that spawn. Okay, one more bit here and you're dead. Wow. That was amazing. I won't lie. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Now, hopefully this is enough to make the full shadow armor. Okay, let's see. There we go. And then let's make the nightmare pickaxe. We do lose out on the ammo reservation and the range damage and critical strike chance, but it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, now that I have the merchant, I can just buy as many arrows as I want because they're just so cheap. And the 8% increased range critical strike chance isn't too much. But for the shadow armor set, it is different for this mod. The set bonus gives 50% increased movement speed and 50% increased dodge chance while moving. And then an additional 50% increased speed at night. So this set pretty much doubles my movement speed. Yeah, look at that. I am so fast right now. Now the next bow that I'll be getting is the Molten Fury. So, let's start mining down to hell. Okay, I finally made it to hell. So, let's start mining some hellstone. Oh, I see a guide voodoo doll demon. Okay, let's make sure my inventory is free so I can pick it up. There we go. Oh, and we got the obsidian skin potion. Okay, that's gonna make mining the hellstone a lot easier. Okay, we're good on the Hellstone, 336. Okay, let's make our Hellstone bars. And now, I can make the Molten Fury that has 55 range damage. That's almost doubled my Demon Bow. Oh my... Yes! 63 damage now. Oh, it's like glowing. It has a subtle glow to it. Okay, it lights the wooden arrows ablaze. I forgot though, does it... Does it turn the wooden arrows into hellfire arrows? In the original game? Or did it just turn it into flaming arrows? I don't remember, but whatever. In any case, this is going to be very good for AoE attacks. Because once it explodes, it does hit enemies around it. And now for the right click. Here we go. Charge it up. Oh, wait, that's three arrows. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about it now. This would be really good for the wall of flesh fight. If I can land all three arrows onto each part of the boss, that's going to be some insane damage. Oh my God. And look how fast we are <laughs> because it's nighttime. Oh my God. Okay. And with the rest of my hellstone bars, I'm just going to make the Molten Pickaxe, just so I can mine the hard mode ores whenever that comes. Now with the Molten Fury, let's make our way to the dungeon to set up an arena for the Skeletron fight. Okay, the arena is pretty much all done, but I can't really see where the moon is, so I don't know when morning is going to arrive. 
So I'm not going to risk it, and I'm just going to wait until the next night. Oh, wait, is that a... Oh, that's a Sky Island right there. Okay, let's see what we get. Whoa. Wait, I didn't know this was possible. Fledgling wings and the shiny red balloon in one chest. Well, I guess I didn't need to use any of my gravitation potions then. Okay, I think it is nighttime again. Yeah, there's a zombie. It is time to summon Skeletron. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Wait, it has that little hat. Oh my god, what? That is so funny. Okay, let's focus up. Okay, I don't know if I should be using the one hit attack or just the regular attack or the charge up. Okay, I might just use the regular attacks for the hands. Just because I think I can aim better with it. Okay, that's one hand down. And then when it does its spin attack, I guess I'll do a triple attacks. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, and that hand just came back from nowhere. There we go. Both hands are down. Oh my god. Imagine if all three attacks crit. That would be like over 500 damage in a single hit. Almost done. There we go. Okay, now I have access into the dungeon. I'm going to look for the Cobalt Shield, of course, and the Shadow Key. With the Shadow Key, then I can find another bow, which is called the Hellwing Bow. Oh my god, okay. We found both of them right away. Okay, let's go back down to Hell to get our Hellwing Bow. There it is. Oh my god. Unreal on this Hellwing Bow. Okay, let's test this one out. Normal attacks. Oh, it's much faster. And if you guys notice, it doesn't spread everywhere. In the original version of the game, this thing just shot out in all kinds of angles. But now it shoots in a completely straight line. Now for the right click, charge it up. Oh, oh what? And then I let go. Oh! It's a bit inaccurate. I guess you can think of it as like a shotgun blast. Now this does have only 23 range damage. But I guess I'll try them both out. The Bolts and Fury and the Helling Bow against the Wall of Flesh. Just to see which one's better. If these flaming bats can pass through the Hungries. Then I will be using this. Because I'm pretty sure the Molten Fury's attacks will not go through. It'll explode on the first contact that it makes. Now before I fight the Wall of Flesh, there is a couple of more bosses that I want to fight. The first one being the King Slime, and the second one being the Queen Bee. For the King Slime, I do want to try to get the mount. And for the Queen Bee, she has a chance to drop the Bee's Knees, which is a bow that shoots out homing bees. But I'll be fighting the King Slime just to get it out of the way since it is the easiest. Okay, let's make two Slime Crowns. And let's just summon it right away. Oh wait, I just realized the Slime Crowns don't actually consume for this mod. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this one actually goes through the boss. It does. Okay. No, I will be using this one then. Yeah, for sure this weapon for the Wall of Flesh. But the Molten Fury does do a lot more damage. And one more hit. There we go. Perfect. There we go. We got the Slime Saddle. Okay, let's make our way into the jungle now to fight the Queen Bee. Oh, wait. They actually still do damage when I hold it out like this. And not release them. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. I did not mean to do that just yet. Uh-oh. Okay, I mean, it should be fine. I'm pretty strong. Okay, let's get rid of all these bees. They are so annoying.
thousand more health. Two hundred more, come on. There we go. Okay, not too bad without an arena. Please give me the bee's knees. Yes. Wait, this doesn't have a right click. Does it? No, it doesn't. Oh. Okay, so unfortunately, this one did not get reworked. Damn, I was really hoping for this one to change a bit. Okay, there's just one more thing that I want to do before the wall of flesh. I do have a bunch of accessories that I can combine. So, I'm going to go to the right side of the world and farm some goblin scouts for their tattered cloths to make the goblin battle standard, which is going to summon the goblin army. And after I defeat the army, I can find the goblin tinkerer and start combining these accessories. Okay, there we go. That's enough tattered cloths. First, I need to make the sawmill and then the loom. And then finally, the goblin battle standard. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. The goblin army has now been defeated. Okay, but there is this guy, which I need to defeat. Oh my god, this is kind of crazy. Okay, 50% health left. Okay, he's charging something. I have to be careful. Oh my god. Come on, 300 health left. Okay, I need to switch my hulling bow. There we go. Oh god, is he self-destructing? Oh! What was that? Great, he just killed all of my NPCs. Okay, let's go find the goblin tinkerer now. Oh, there he is. That was fast. Rocket boots and workshop. And I don't think I need to reforge any of my weapons because they're pretty good at the moment. Okay, let's make our spectre boots. Made the cloud and a balloon. And lastly, the obsidian shield. I guess I can reforge some of these accessories first. There we go, warding. Oh wow, warding on this one as well. First try. Okay, we'll take menacing and then this one. Okay, lucky is fine. I'm all set. Let's go down to hell to fight the wall of flesh. Okay, and I'm in it to the end of the world. Let's start this thing up. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're going to be using our helping bow first, just to see how it does. Okay, so far so good. Oh, it does push back the hungry so far back. Wow. Damage wise, it feels pretty weak. I won't lie. Okay, let's test out the Molten Fury now. Yeah, I don't know about this one either. Because there's just so many things in the way. It doesn't really damage the boss. I guess I'll just use normal attacks with the Hellwing Bow. Okay, we're almost there. 2,000 more health. 1,000 more. And you're done. There we go. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let's open up our treasure bag. Perfect, we got the ranger emblem. Okay, wow, our Molten Fury has 85 range damage and it's only a pre-hard mode bow. But now that I'm in hard mode, let's go back to the corruption and break some shadow altars so that I can start mining the hard mode ores. And we got palladium, mithril, and titanium. Okay, that should be enough palladium. Let's make the palladium pickaxe. Now onto the mithril. Okay, that's enough mithril. Oh, maybe not. I think I need two more bars for mithril. Oh no, I don't. It's only 15. Okay, perfect. 
And lastly, the titanium. Oh, we just got the magic quiver. I'll take that. Increases arrow damage by 10% and greatly increases arrow speed with a 20% chance to not consume arrows. Oh my god, this is so fast now. Look at that. Look at that speed. Okay, and I think that's enough titanium. 316. Okay, we're going to make the titanium helmets, breastplate, and leggings. There we go. We have 46 defense now compared to 31. And with the armor equipped, I now have 95 ranged damage. Almost 100 for a pre-hard mode weapon. Now that I have a full set of hard mode armor, I now need a hard mode weapon. And there are two that I'm thinking of. Either the Ice Bow, which can be found from killing Ice Mimics, or the Daedalus Stormbow, which is dropped from Hollowed Mimics. I think I'll go for the Daedalus Stormbow first, because it's a lot easier to get. Because I can just farm for some Souls of Light to summon them manually. But for the Ice Mimics, it's pretty much all about luck. Okay, there we go. That's enough Souls of Light. Then I can make the Key of Light. And then let's whip out a chest. There we go. And hopefully I get it on my first try. There we go. Almost done here. Just a few more hits. Oh, unfortunately not this time. Okay, I have to go farm for some more Souls of Light. Okay, that should be enough Souls of Light. I'm dead though. Okay, we got another 15. There we go. Okay, second time's the charm. Wait, what? This one has... It has 103 range damage? I'm pretty sure in the original version, it had like 43 or something like that. 40 to 50. But this is almost... This is like double the damage. Okay, it doesn't have a right click. But let's just see if the regular attacks has changed. 3, 2, 1. Oh! It has... These arrows fall so much faster, and they penetrate. They can go through blocks. No, this is gonna absolutely destroy the destroyer. And let's try to reforge this into something good. Oh my god, okay. We got Unreal on it. Okay, now let's try to find the Ice Bow before I take on the mechanical bosses. Oh! The hit effects are so nice. Look at that. The particles. That is so pretty. Oh, and here's the bound wizard. Which means I can make the endless quiver with this crystal ball. But I'll do that after I find the ice bow. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's the ice bow. Give me that. Whoa. This also has 109 range damage. And it has a right click. Oh boy, here we go. Normal attacks. Okay, pretty standard. Now for the right click. Ooh, here we go. 3, 2, 1. <gasps> it actually freezes them. Wait. Oh wait, sometimes? Oh, oh, I'm frozen. And I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I guess some frozen enemies can't be frozen. This thing shoots like a laser beam. Look how fast it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, if I do that, are they just permanently iced? Okay, let's also reforge this. What is going on? We just got Unreal again. 126 range damage. Okay, just for fun, let's just summon the King Slime. And let's test out both of these bows. Here we go. The Daedalus one first. Okay. Not bad. And now, let's test out the Ice Bow. Right click. Okay. It doesn't freeze the boss, which I kind of expected. It's kind of worth though, it does reduce damage, it feels like. 
I'm only doing like 40, 50 damage to the bosses. Okay, well, it's three-fourths of the way into the night already, so I don't have time to fight any of the mechanical bosses. So, we'll wait until the next one. But I guess while I wait, let's just make the Endless Quiver. So we have to purchase, I think, 3,996 wooden arrows. Okay, there we go. We have over 4,000, and then... Where is it? Okay, there it is. Endless Quiver. Okay, now we don't have to worry about running out of arrows anymore. I can just shoot to my heart's content. And meanwhile, I guess I can try to find the Magma Stone so that I can make the Molten Quiver. This one lights wooden arrows ablaze. So I think it does work with the Endless Quiver because the Endless Quiver does use wooden arrows. So let's go down to hell to try to find it. Oh, wait, when did I get this? Damn, I didn't even notice. Okay, now I can make the Molten Quiver. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Now let's test it out. Does it work with the Endless Quiver? Yes, it does. Is it just me? Or does it seem like there's less of the Daedalus Stormbow projectiles? So the blue ones. Does it have to do... I think it's the Molten Quiver that's making it like this. Yeah, it is. There's way more of these ones when I take off the Molten Quiver. But as soon as I put it on... Yeah, wow. Okay, now which one's better though? Or I could just have a mix of both. Why not? Okay, hold on guys. I made a huge mistake. There's not only these two bows that I can get. There's actually one more, which is the Shadow Flame Bow. So it looks like I'm gonna have to summon the Goblin Army again. To get it but after that then it will be time for the mechanical bosses okay there we go got 10 now here we go again there we go there it is what the this has 150 damage so normal attack pretty normal and now the right click oh my what the? It homes in and it shoots out three. Wait, this is so strong. What? It's a bit inaccurate, but if all three hit, that's going to be some crazy damage. Okay, all done. Now let's try to dodge this. Oh, that was so close. Yes, yeah, so I might just have to use this for either the twins or Skeletron Prime. Okay, it is finally nighttime. So the first boss I'll be fighting is the Destroyer, and I'll be using the Daedalus Stormbow. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at those numbers. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going down super fast. Already at 50% health. Oh my god, let's not choke here. There we go. Okay, that was a, a bit of a close call. I won't lie. Okay, since that fight went by so fast, I do have time to fight the next mechanical boss, which is going to be the twins. So let's whip out our Shadow Flame bow and start it up. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay, I thought it would be a lot better. But some of the projectiles are missing. Okay, let's see if I just use the normal attack. No, that's just way too slow. Let's try out the ice bow now. Oh, wow. 500 damage crit hit. Wait, this is so good. I think because it charges up the attack faster too. Okay, I gotta heal. Let me pick up these hearts. There we go. And I just realized I don't have actual wings. So I am gonna farm them after this fight. Okay, let's not risk it. I need heal. Okay, about 5,000 more health for the spasmatasm. 
a few more hits. There we go. Okay, just the retinades now. And uh, let's just try out our Daedalus Stormbow. See if that's any better. Oh wait, actually it might be. Wow. Wait, yeah, this is so much better. Why didn't I just use this at the start? Oh my god. There we go. Okay, well, I know which weapon I'm going to use for Skeleton Prime. Okay, we do have... I'd say we have enough time to finish off the last mechanical boss, so let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, this is way better. Okay, one of the hands already dead. What? 10,000 more health. Oh, that was so close. Don't touch me. 3,000 more health. Come on. And you're finished. Okay. All the mechanical bosses are done. Ooh, we just got armored Loki's wings. Wait, yeah, I don't need to farm for the angel wings or demon wings anymore. Looks like I have luck on my side. Now I'll be replacing my titanium armor with the hollowed armor set. Because the invulnerability is just way too good to pass up on. There we go. And the titanium shards were kind of useless. Because I was not going to be near any monsters whatsoever. And also, because... All three mechanical bosses have been defeated. There is a chance for the traveling merchant to now sell the pulse bow. So hopefully he does spawn again because I really want to check that one out. But for now, let's head into the jungle to try to find the Pantera bulb. And I can't make the pickaxe axe because I don't have enough hollow bars. Oh, wait, there's a the Pantera bulb right there. I guess I'll start making the arena right here then. Okay, the arena is basically all done. But there are some leftover chlorophyte that I can't mine because I don't have enough hollow bars to make the pickaxe axe. So it'll be like a little challenge for me. Some obstacles in the way while I fight the boss. But it should be fine. As for the arena and how it looks, well... Yeah, not really the prettiest, but it'll do. Oh wait, the cross necklace. You know what? Let's actually go back and make the Star Veil. Because I do have the Star Cloak. There we go. And I guess let's replace the Worm Scarf for now. And we got warding on it. Perfect. Okay, let's start this thing up. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that is a lot of damage. Wait, it's already at 50% health, second phase. Oh my god. Let's run down. And then fly back up. Oh my god. Yeah, this is easy peasy. No sweat at all. Yeah, this Daedalus Stormbow is just way too good. Okay, now that I have the Temple Key... And the temple's right here. Let's enter it. Alright, I forgot to say, I did take off the Molten Quiver because the fire arrows were kind of getting stuck onto the ceiling. Okay, made it into the boss room. Let's clear out some traps before I start. Okay, I think that should be everything. And then let's make a single platform. Okay, we should be good to go. Three, two, one. This fight should also be very easy because the Daedalus Stormbow can hit every single part of the boss. Head is done. And now's more health. Alright, we're good. Okay, now it's time to get my hands on another bow. Which some of you guys may have guessed already. It's going to be the Tsunami, which is dropped from Duke Fishron. So let's go to the Mushroom Biome to get ourselves a Truffle Worm. 
Oh, here's one. And grab it. No, no, no. Grab, grab, grab. Nice. Oh, there's another. Give it to me. There we go. That's two. Oh, wait. I just dropped another one. <laughs> okay, that's three. Let's leave this place now. And then let's make our fishing pole. There we go. Now let's head over to the ocean. Okay, the arena is now complete. Okay, here we go. Duke fish run time. Oh my god, that's a lot of bubbles. Gotta make sure I clear those. Okay. So far, so good. We're dealing a lot of damage. Okay, that kind of hurts. Clear the bubbles. Okay, 50% health now. Second phase. Okay, almost third phase. There we go. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh no, that hurt. One more hit. Nice. There we go. Oh, and we got fish run wings too. Nice. Okay, frenzying tsunami. 69 ranged damage. Does not have a right click. How about the regular attacks? Three, two, one. No, they didn't change anything for this one. Oh, that's a shame. I won't lie, I'm a bit let down. But hey, at least I got the fish run wings. Now I do want to make the master ninja gear to make the Moon Lord fight a lot easier. So I'm going to head to the dungeon to farm some bone leaves. There we go. There's the black belt. So all I need is the tabbies. Ooh, we got the paladin shield. Okay, let's replace our obsidian shield with it then. There we go. There's the tabby. Okay, we can now leave this place. Then let's make the tiger climbing gear. And then finally, the master ninja gear. Okay, we have a much better dash now. And an increased chance to dodge attacks. Okay, the traveling merchant has arrived. Now, are you selling the pulse bow? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, you- Oh my god! Wait, 203 range damage? Give me that. That is an insane amount of damage for a bow. Okay, let's test this thing out. Okay, regular attacks. Oh, they bounce! Uh, wait, no. I'm pretty sure the original version of the game, the pulse bows, projectiles also bounce. But these are way slower. Oh my, they explode. Okay, if I shoot it like this. Oh my god. Okay, now that's just the regular attack. Now for the right click. Charging it up. Oh. Oh, what is that? When it explodes, it summons out lightning. No, we have to test this out. But first, I'm going to reforge it. Oh, I only have 60 gold, but I think I can sell some things in my chests. Wait. How lucky am I getting this run? What is going on with my luck? First, the traveling merchant selling the pulse bow, and now this? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you very much, Arn Jesus. That is... Beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, let's whip out our slime crown to summon the king slime. Here we go. Let's first use our regular attacks. Okay. I want it to like explode though. I want to see the damage on that. What? Wait, wait, wait. 
bad damage. Okay, well, to be fair, I do have the blue slime banner. Okay, let's test it out one more time. And then we can drag the king slime over here. Let's start shooting. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that's about... That's about 400 damage. And now with the right click. Let's see, all these little blue slimes. Goodbye. Wh wait, 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 wait. 629 damage. And I don't even have the blue slime banner. One more time, just one more time. Now with the right click, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! It two, sh it two shot it. That was two clicks. Two clicks. Look at that, 1,578 damage. I'm going to have so much fun with this. Okay, let's go absolutely murder the lunatic cultists with this weapon. Here we go. Three, two, one. The charge up is really fast too. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm missing. Okay. Look at the health bar. Okay, gotta heal up. Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be kinda hard to land as well though. One more hit. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go destroy the Vortex Pillar first, just so I can see what the Phantasm does. But I don't think it's gonna get reworked because it is special in its own way. Yay. I swear I'm dealing about 3,000 damage per hit. Okay, that's done. Okay, here we go. Phantasm. Does not have a right click. And then the normal attacks. Yeah. Just like I thought. Doesn't really have anything special. Nothing changed about it. Okay, I guess I can destroy the rest of the pillars then. Let's start with the nebula. Okay, nebula pillar is destroyed. Next up, let's do the solar pillar. Okay, there we go. Solar pillar is destroyed. One more to go. Okay, there we go. That's the last one. Now it's time for Moon Lord. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna focus the middle eye first. Oh my god, that's damage. Okay. Middle eye, there we go. Teleport now. Jesus. I've almost dealt a hundred thousand damage already. Okay, heal up. Middle eye is almost done. Well, actually all three eyes are almost done. There we go. That eye is done. Okay, I'm gonna... can't really see... No, I need to teleport. Teleport and heal. Oh, that was a close call. Okay, it's just the core now. Okay, this should be the easiest bit. Twenty thousand more health. Ten thousand. A few more hits, come on. There we go. Damn, I love this pulse boat. Wow. 
well, damn. This pulse bow is ridiculous compared to the original version. A bit too strong in my opinion, but nonetheless, the most fun bow I've used other than the Daedalus Storm Bow. If you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I'll leave all the mods I've used in the description below. If you guys enjoyed watching, then don't forget to leave a like, comment on what other mods or video ideas I should try out, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.